So now we're on the computer. I'm going to take the USB cable, plug it into the quadcopter, and then plug it into the computer. And you should see up here, it's automatically connected. It went onto COM port 3. We've got a Matek 411 board. And we're currently running Betaflight 3.5.5. So when you're going on to ports, you're going to look, you've got UR serial receive. So that should be your receiver that's connected on there. Um, UR2 should be where the VTX smart audio is. So we're going to go over here to peripherals and we're going to select TBS smart audio, hit save and reboot. We'll then go on to the configuration tab. Um, I'm going to run motor direction reversed, so we'll select that. We'll turn off barometer as that's not going to be used. We'll leave these stock for now and we'll go down to here to arming and we'll select 180 degrees. This will allow crash flip to be utilized. Go down here, make sure that you've got S bus selected if that's what it is that you're using, and that's it. For now, in this, we've got telemetry turned on, OSD turned on, yep, so we'll hit save and reboot again. So from here, we'll look at power and battery. Yeah, yeah these seem fairly conservative. I'm going to be using a 450 milliamp hour battery, so we'll set that for 400 milliamp hours and we'll see whether that works. Save that. Moving on. Pid tune in, that's where you're going to set your rates. I'll just fly it first. I'll see how it feels. Um, modes. Okay, so it's got angle mode set up right now. So for this, you're going to need to use your transmitter. So if you turn on your transmitter, go to the receiver tab and we're going to make sure that the receiver is actually bound at this point. And right now it's looking like it is not working. Aha, right, so it took a couple of seconds there, but as you can see now, I've got it all set up correctly. So the one thing I had to do was to go to this tab here and select Spectrum instead of FR Sky because I use TAER instead of AETR. So leave that. You check that your pitch, roll, your and throttle all move on the correct channels, and then make sure that your aux channels are where you actually want them to be. So I've got this one to arm, this one for modes, and apparently, yep, yeah, and three is going to be my buzzer. So checking that those switches move the correct channels that you want them to move, you then progress onto the mode screen so I'm going to select this one and then hit the arm switch and then I'm going to move this slider over to there so in the up position I'm armed in the down position I am disarmed angle mode I will move that down here and that is in angle mode there and it is not in angle mode over here so we'll hit save there and then it'll go yellow once you've got it correct. So right now I'm in angle mode and I'm now should be armed. That's it won't arm because it's got arm locks on. So click on that. So we want to also have oh ac I say acro mode is going to be in the other two switch positions. We'll add horizon in because I do use it sometimes. mode, horizon mode, hit save, uh, it's picked up now in horizon mode and the only other thing I want to add it is the beeper, so we'll check the beeper on there, hit save one more time, um, ah, also would like to add crash flip, which is here, 
We'll now have that on the same switch as the beeper, so it beeps and crash flips at the same time. And hit save, that's good. So finally, we're going to go over to the motor tab. What we're going to do is take the props off, or don't fit the props in the first place. Click this switch here. We're going to move this, or click it, and then use the up arrow, and that will move it until you hear the motors start to rotate. For this, you have to have the battery plugged in. So 1050 will do it. The motors rotate in. I'll then use a piece of plastic or piece of paper and push it gently into the motor and see which way the motor deflects it and then work out whether the motor is running clockwise or anti-clockwise. So on mine, all of the motors are currently running anti-clockwise. So I'll then need to move over to BL Heli and remap them so that they're moving in the correct direction. So we can turn it off, disconnect, and close down beta flight. So I've booted up BL Heli. I'm going to read the setup, and it's going to show us this. So currently we've got. Turn that off. Currently, we've got BL Heli S revision 16.7, which will allow using crash flip turtle mode. And then, if I go to the other ESCs, I can only see the first ESC right now. Hmm, interesting. So, it's only seeing one ESC. Um, this is one but all four work. Come back over here. Let's read the set up. Boom, now we've got four SEs. That's better. Alright, so we selected them. This one's selected to normal. We would like it to be reversed. This one is normal. This one is normal and this one is normal. So we want to set one and four to reverse. So we're going to write the setup. You see four, and then we'll double check that that's taken. So one is reversed, two is normal, three is normal, and four hasn't taken. So we'll flash that again. Right, setup. Four's now reversed. Okay. So what we'll do then, we'll go back to the motor tab and we'll just confirm that this is now the way that we want it to be. So we've got that one's going in, that one's going in, Okay, so I've done it the wrong way round, and what I actually wanted to do was the opposite of what I've done. And that's why you confirm these things. So we're going to set up again. Going to select number one. I'm going to set that to normal. Write the setup. Then we'll select two to reverse. Write the setup. Select three to reverse. Like the setup and select four to normal and write the setup. So double checking, we've got normal, reversed, reversed, and normal. So that should now be the correct way around. Going back over here again. So again, this is for props out. So if you want them to run props in, then you do it the other way around. Yep, so now all my motors are going the way around that I'd like. So the next thing to do is going to be a flight test. 